Hey everybody, uh, we're going to go through some uh, Excel uh, probability calculations today. We're going to be using the normal distribution and the T distribution. Uh, very, uh, only a couple formulas we'll be looking at and, um, and I'll look at a couple of the different like little things, calculate different probabilities and, uh, and well, let, let's, let's make it happen. Okay. So suppose that the birth weight of babies at a hospital follows a normal distribution with a mean weight of 7.5 pounds and a standard deviation of 0.75 pounds. We're asked first, what's the probability a baby weighs more than 8.8 .8 pounds? Uh, so we're going to be looking at using the normal distribution function. Um, and so the, the calculation, the, the, the formula is equals um, NORM dot DIST. Uh, this gives you a normal probability for a mean, for a specified mean and standard deviation. So I'm going to put in the, um, first off, the number that I'm interested in is the 8.8 .8 pounds. Uh, and then I have to put in the mean of the distribution, uh, which is 7.5. And then I'm going to put in the standard deviation, deviation of 0.75. And cumulative is true. I want the cumulative probability. However, one thing this is going to give me is it's going to give me the probability of getting a baby less than that 8.8, .8, all right? So what I actually have to do to the formula is modify this. It's going to be one minus that because the probability that a baby has is less than 8.8 .8 pounds plus the probability that the baby is more than 8.8 .8 pounds adds up to one. So I want the complement of that probability. So I'm going to take one minus that number. Get myself, ooh, look at that, 4.4, uh, 4, I, I like to put it in percent when I'm talking about it, 4.15% chance. Okay, I kind of had a sense that was gonna be the case. Um, let's ask another one. Uh, what, I should have started with this. What is the probability a baby weighs, um, actually I should, let's, let's, Birth, birth weight of let's let's clarify that these are uh, these are full term babies. The uh, uh, premature babies have a different distribution of weights altogether. So let's just and I want this to be roughly realistic. What's the probability that baby weight weighs uh, let's say less than um, seven pounds? Okay, this is this since I'm finding a what I call a lower tail probability. I want to get the probability less than seven, that's gonna be more straightforward than the previous one. It's gonna be equals norm dot uh, DIST, DIST. Uh, it's going to be the seven pounds for what I'm interested in, comma, 7.5, that's the mean of the distribution, 0.75, the standard deviation of the distribution, and cumulative, which is true. I want the cumulative probability. That's all I need to do. I don't do a one minus because the norm.dist function always gives me the lower tail probability. 25% chance. Okay, that's real. That's reasonable. Um, how about this? What is the probability a baby weighs uh, between eight and uh, nine pounds? The between is a tricky wiki. What we need to do is uh, we have to do a combo of two formulas, actually the same formula twice. Um, the idea is the probability between eight and nine is going to be equal to the probability less than nine minus the probability less than eight. Okay, so we're going to, that's gonna give us a probability between eight and nine. So it's gonna be equals norm.dist nine comma 7.5 comma 0.75. That's the probability that the baby weighs less than nine pounds. I'm gonna subtract after I close that parenthesis, subtract norm.dist uh, uh, eight <laughs> pounds with the same 7.5 and the same 0.75. That's going to give me a probability between, oops, I forgot to say true. True is what I want true for cumulative probabilities, same over here, comma, T-R-U-E. That's what I want. That's gonna give me a realistic number, 0 0.229, 23 roughly percent chance that the baby weighs between eight and nine pounds. Okay, 
that's fine. Um, now let's talk about percentiles. Percentile, no, what we were doing now is we're given a cutoff, we want to know what's the probability less than, the probability greater than, or between two cutoffs, the probability between. Uh, a percentile is if I want to know wh what is the cutoff with a certain percentile, a percent below it or above, that's, that's asking for a percentile. So um, let's, let's get, write that out. Let's do the, let's, what is the 90th percentile for baby weight at this hospital? The 90th percentile is what is the weight in pounds such that 90% of babies weigh less than that. So the way you do that is with the inverse normal distribution. It's the formula is equals norm.inv. And I want to put in probability of 0.9 or 0.90. That's the 90th percentile. And the mean of 7.5 and the standard deviation of 0.75. Oops, I think I put an M there. I don't want an M. Now there's no need to put true. This is going. This is all you need to put in. This is going to give me the the 90th percentile, which means the cutoff such that 90% of babies weigh less than this. Oops. I put. I didn't put a comma. I put an M instead of a comma. Okay, there we go. I got my comma now. Okay, 8.46 pounds. That means that 90% of babies weigh less than 8.46 pounds. Uh, let's just do another one. Uh, what is the uh, cutoff for the, let's say the middle, um, let's say the middle 50% of baby weights. What are the cutoffs, I should say? Now, the cutoffs for the middle 50% of baby weights actually are two numbers, a lower bound and an upper bound. Uh, the lower bound is going, if you think about the middle 50%, you have 100% of babies, right? The middle 50% means that there's 25% on one side, 25% on the other. If you think of percentiles, 25%, we're dividing it up into quarters, right? And so we're going to have the middle 50% is going to be upper bounded by the 75th percentile and lower bounded by the 25th percentile. So my two numbers are going to be equals norm.inv, uh, my 0.75, that's the 75th percentile for um, a mean of 7.5 and a standard deviation of 0.75. Lots of 75s. That's what I want for the upper bound. Lower bound is going to be equals norm.inv, 0.25 comma 7.5 and then the 0.75. So those are my numbers. That tells me that 50, at this hospital, 50% of babies weigh between 8 0.005006 pounds and 6.99 pounds. Actually, it comes up, it rounds pretty nicely to between seven and eight pounds. That's going to be the middle, that's 50% of babies way between that, those bounds. Okay, that's great. Uh, let's look at one more uh, formula, which is the T distribution. Uh, and actually, I'm going to look at two sides of that. One is calculating T probabilities, and the other is calculating. Uh, t uh, percentiles. The t distribution does has only one uh, parameter, which is the degrees of freedom, and so I'm not going to I'm not going to give it a contextual problem. I'm just going to do a straight up question um, for a t distribution with um, with let's say 17 degrees of freedom, what is the uh, probability that T is greater than, let's say, uh, 1.63? All right, so a T distribution, similar to a normal distribution, looks kind of the same, but the tails are fatter. Um, to find this probability, I'm going to use the the t dot dist function. Now this one we've got uh, actually something that would have been nice for the normal distribution, which is you have a couple different uh, versions of this. You have the dot two t and the dot r t. Uh, if I want the probability greater than one point six three, that's a right tail probability, and so I'm actually going to use the dot r t, the right tailed probability, 
and I just put in 1.63 and my degrees of freedom of 17. Okay, six point, it's a point zero six zero seven. that's my proportion. What's, that's the probability in that right tail. Uh, for, let's do another for a T distribution with, uh, let's say, uh, 35 degrees of freedom. What is the probability between um, uh, 0.54 and 1.22? Okay, so uh, this similar to the um, similar to the normal distribution. What I'm going to do is calculate the probability less than 1.22, and then subtract the probability less than 0.54. So this is going to be equals t dot dist parenthesis 1.22 with 34, 35 degrees of freedom. Okay, that's the probability less than 1.22, and I'm going to subtract minus t dot dist 0.54 comma 35. Oops. Oh, I have to I have to say cumulative in this in this one. So I have to say comma true. Comma true. Okay. So for this one, I need to say true in order to get the cumulative probability. We're never going to say false. You're never going to need to care about the the density at that at at that point. Um, at least not for this course. <laughs> Boom, 18%. There's an 18% chance that a t variable would be between those bounds. Um, all right, well, that, that, that's, a little, that's my little overview of, of uh, the normal distribution, the t distribution in Excel. I uh, just wanted to go over those formulas. Uh, you'll go through that in the, um, in the, in the, the, the reading as well. Um, so anyway, I ho hope that there's no problem for you. Uh, there are, of course, other ways to calculate this. There are probability calculators all over the place. This is how you do it in Excel. All right. Well, that's it. Um, bye.